polling locations throughout Michigan closed at 8 p.m. Tuesday, bringing an end to the August primary election to decide which Republican candidate will emerge from the crowded field to face governor. Gretchen Whitmer this fall, Tudor Dixon, along with several hotly contested interparty congressional and state legislative fights. Hundreds of thousands of Michigan voters return absentee ballots before Election Day and by Tuesday morning, more than a million absentee ballots had been received by election officials across the state, according to the Secretary of State's office. Live, Michigan primary election results here th. Polling locations serving in-person voters also close then, but those in line by 8 p.m. could still vote. As election workers finish counting absentee ballots, you can follow unofficial results at free. Come by visiting the home page or clicking on this link. More, Tudor Dixon wins GOP nomination for governor, predicts epic battle with Gretchen Whitmer Live Michigan election results State of Michigan election results Wayne County election results Oakland County election results Macomb County election results Like our work Please consider becoming a free press subscriber. Key Michigan primary races to watch Whitmer ran unopposed in the Democratic primary, leaving the GOP gubernatorial primary the only contested statewide contest on the ballot. Tudor Dixon ended up winning the primary, promising an epic battle with Whitmer in November. Voters also weighed in on congressional and state legislative primaries Tuesday. While Michigan is home to a number of competitive seats, the primary Tuesday will likely determine who will represent voters in a number of safe Democratic and Republican districts. More, six races, and types of races, worth watching in Tuesday's Michigan primary more, Michigan primary election voting sees small hiccups in some communities what happens after election day? The election results and outcomes reported when election workers finish processing and counting ballots are unofficial. In the coming weeks, county canvassing boards made up of two Democrats and two Republicans will review election materials, sign off on the vote totals and certify outcomes for races wholly contained within the county. They have two weeks to complete that job. The state's elections panel then meets to certify statewide contests and elections that cross county lines. The Board of State Canvassers, also made up of two Democrats and two Republicans, must convene by August 22 to determine the results of the election.